I'm trying to get out. And then when y'all gonna have a job. Hey, Couture Bees, it's your girl, Brooke Wright, going live with the Breeze Talk and Bay Squad. Who would have thought making up with Nicki Minaj would cause all this strife? But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Do this or like I can't do this. But you know who I talk to a lot and who got some real thick skin and real encouraging words, Nikki. Mm. She do not play. Like she don't. She do not play. Like if she told me one time, she was like venting too much about the same thing as complaining. Like mm. get back in in that studio, do this, like do this, and like do that and. That's where, like, one of the things come from. Just having her to have in my back and just telling me certain things. It's a great outlook. Like, Because that's life. Like, not just... She, she'll say, every day you won't win, but you a loser when you don't try. Ooh. Like, you're going to sit right. there and fail because you lost. Like, you got to get up and you got to keep you gotta trying. You got to shoot your shot to yeah, even have a gotta, chance to win. You got to shoot your shot. And I feel like me and Carisha definitely can do it. I really feel like that. I don't care what nobody say. I don't give a fuck what nobody on the internet say i feel like if we get out together and we scribe we gonna we can kill a game because i feel like it's nobody like us mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I was just listening to our album i was like nobody can talk they shit like us i feel like we gotta walk more into it stand in it be more confident in it own it when i was a regular like, girl i didn't know any better the respect i gained from her was coming in this game and becoming an artist and knowing what it's like and it's like bitch you gotta fact track and you have to get that lady her flowers you cannot downplay her because it is hard it is hard to keep creating. It's stressful to keep creating. It's stressful for people to keep judging you and telling you how they want you to sound and they music and, and all of that. And she just, even if she feeling down, she's still going to take on the world. And that's what I respect about her. Like, mm -hmm. And she be like, I know everybody be fucking fucking with her. Like, everybody be fucking with her, talking about her, saying shit yeah, about her. her. Mm -hmm. Like, all type of shit about her. And she still get on here and do it for her fans. She posts her shit. She don't care. She drop her freestyle. She do her shit against the whole wide world. So why not like be in her corner? Like fuck that. I don't care if people say I'm eating her dick or anything. Like who else dick should anybody eat other than Nicki Minaj? Like come on now, who's fucking for real? Like, like it's like you ate that. Please, that, that don't bother me. Like if Nicki Minaj walk up to any bitch in the comments saying I'm eating dick, anything, they're gonna bow down. This internet shit is not real. Like these bitches on the internet just talking behind a stream. They not going to see Nicki Minaj and not bow, bow down. Like I don't give a fuck. Like please, it's like I don't care. I don't care. Really? And I know this gonna be like everywhere. And I, that's why I really hate when I have to go deep into that because it just it just make people mad and I don't know why I make people so mad like that shit make me mad it make people mad like let people do what they want to do let people support who they want to support if it's female unity if it's female all of that then what's the problem when it comes to Nicki Minaj like please I want to start off by saying this it is a problem if Nicki Minaj is your mentor because then that means you are focused on your bag your royalties your commissions everything dealing with being a better businesswoman and a lot of people industry and outside are trying to tear these women apart. They don't want them to make no money. We've heard these women say on the radio show together, our label talks to us individually, which will cause strife, but they don't let these men get in their business or their friendship. And I applaud that for them. And they're starting to realize they have nobody but themselves and the very few people who actually care about the city girls and these two women as women. Now, as for Nicki Minaj and JT making up, so many people are like, well, you got to remember, they were talking all that ish, okay, and they've evolved since then. I don't know why people want to harp on, well, back in the gap, you was talking ish. They both have publicly apologized. They have literally, in in some of the delusional fans' uh, statements, kissed the ring, and now they're good. So what is the issue? I just think people want there to be strife, and when people are actually moving towards peace, they hate it. And I said it last night, and I'll say it again. When black women are becoming successful without the attachment of a man, y'all hate that. But those are just my opinions. How are y'all feeling about this base squad? Are y'all here for the city girls? Are y'all getting raw? Do you feel like their label is sabotaging them? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.